So who else has been on eBay after a few bottles and bought something and woke up and thought, oh shit, what have I done? That's how Bear, the owner of this vehicle, acquired himself an FJ45. A Wednesday night, he purchased it. By Saturday, he's up in Mackay, bringing it back to Brisbane. Uh, it was advertised as a pretty clean truck, but it had a 6.2 diesel Chevy in it, and it um, turned over, didn't really run. So Bear got to um, getting it running again. We sold him the front axle, he put the disc brakes on, he's really tidied it up. And um, he's run it for a few months, but was never really happy with a, a 6.2. Um, we've done a few of them now where people are pulling out the eights and putting back in Toyota diesels. Uh, so this one was always destined to have a Toyota diesel in it again. And now it's got the 1HZ with the turbo whacked on the side of it. A really good fresh motor that uh, Bear found that uh, had been um, torn down a bit and worked on. So he's found himself a really decent donk. And he's come to us again and said, boys, can you fit the 1HZ? So that's why it's been here this time. And it was a, a pretty basic job. You've got guys um, like McKinnon's Cruisers. So we, we're starting to stock a lot of his stuff because it's so cool. So we've got, um, he does the 1HZ conversion for this vehicle. We just buy his um, chassis mounts, move the box back and made for a really easy conversion. So um, a few other little mods in there. The airbox was custom made. It's a HJ47. Uh, airbox maxi did that uh, he's done it before he's custom up a box uh, so now we've got the, a factory airbox back in there and uh, she's on the road again now and bear's been enjoying it we were um, in here today having a chat so decided we better do a walk around um, up the front of the vehicle a bit of a homemade bar going on there while it was here we put the terra loom up there so that's the uh, the adr approved they come in black they come in chrome we keep them on the shelf they're the seven inch light. They're, they're plug and play for most models. We've also got the XTM uh, LED bar and his GME aerial up the front. Running the 33s, um, he's got the Maxxis, he's got uh, period correct mags. He always had four of them. Something we find a bit, we find them on old 60s and stuff. So we had a couple of these rims in the junkyard side of Mr. Land Cruiser and he's taken them and cleaned them up. So now he's got a few spare as well. Um, outside the vehicle, this is all steel by the roof. He's got a fiberglass roof. Otherwise, she's all steel, original panels. Um, he's got some flares on there to keep things legal. The drop side tray, uh, steel floor without the drop side, he keeps it like that. And underneath the tray uh, is where the battery is. There's a lot going on in the engine bay, so that's nice and tucked out of the way. But we'll go and have a look inside. It's nice and dark in there. Uh, Bear, the owner of this one, he, he owns uh, north side, tinting services and he's tinted my car, Richard's car, a lot of our customers' cars, you might see him in forums, does um, really good work. So it's um, good to support um, another 40 series owner with their business. He's on the Brisbane North side here in uh, Moray Field and uh, just check out some of his work on his um, Instagram or his Facebook. But let's have a look inside. Yeah, look how clean it is in here. It's just a really well uh, kept truck. It's reupholstered seats, uh, factory floor mat that's in uh, really good condition for its age. Now you'll notice this one on the inside, underneath we've got the aircon. It's uh, not plumbed up yet. Everything's there, so he's gonna. Um, that's his uh, next thing is to plumb up the aircon. It's already got the power steer. It's already got the five speed. He's utilised some space. Again, he hasn't tampered with the dash, so he utilised it with a parcel shelf and, and the overhead console. The overhead console all blends in with the marine carpet on the roof, done a really nice job. Has a Pioneer stereo and a GME uh, radio. You will notice the radio blank, so he's put the radio up top, he's found himself a radio blank. Very cool. Um, for those that don't know, uh, we just threw 3D print new ones, they're 66 bucks and they fill in that that hole if you're after a radio blank. If you like bear and have your radio elsewhere, you can fill that hole nicely. But overall, there's no holes in the dash. She's a really clean rig, so it's um, worth a little check out. So that's it, 11th month, 1979. I didn't mention that he's also got a water tank with a tap down here. Um, just handy little stuff. I know he's gonna do a lot more um, on it. He wants a, he's got a Hilux that he takes out, out west and stuff, out west Queensland. So I think he's planning some trips with this one now, but 
today for me, uh, I've got to go to the other side of the industrial estate, so I'm going to jump in it right now, and we're going to go for a burl. Listen to the 1HZ.